This is really where I've never vlogged in an airport. So I'm talking to the camera. There's people behind me looking at me. But I'm gonna get this, get through it, do what I need to say, make sure I'm in focus. I'm headed to LA right now. And this is gonna be part of a much longer vlog. And I'm gonna just take you through these several days that I'm there in LA for Sydney Gear. I didn't even mention why I'm going to LA. I'm going to LA because I've been invited to spend some time with SLR Magic again and and just hang out with them at Cine Gear. I'll be doing some vlogs and some content for them as well. They have some new announcements. Um, so I'm excited to see what that's gonna be. I'm actually gonna show you guys what I have in my bag right now that I'm gonna be taking with me uh, to LA. I have my Low Pro bag here. Um, and open this up. You got the Sony A7, the 10 millimeter from SLR Magic. My headphone, 35 millimeter I was talking about, so I have that guy. Here's the 50. One of the anamorphics, so you guys see that. Of course, I got some cords in here. And uh, yeah, so that's what I got with me. Okay, now we can get to the B-roll. finally made it to LA and I'm here with Andrew again, uh, Clinton and, and Edwin so you get to meet them a little bit later on but this morning Clinton and I are going on a secret mission we're gonna go to Target apparently he's a Star Wars fan so there's a new toy coming out so we're gonna go pick up a few of those and I actually need to pick up a few things as well from the store Andrew and Edwin are gonna go eat and we're gonna meet them at Cine Gear. Really this morning, today, it's gonna to be pretty simple. We're gonna be following around Andrew as he's talking with, as he's doing some of these press releases. So I'll be getting some behind the scenes content for that. Then while I'm doing that, I'm gonna kind of break away and do some filming of my own. Yeah, so just enjoy the day. And hopefully this will be fun. I'm doing my best not to look at my screen. I'm gonna look right here. I'm like dangling over the top of this balcony. But, uh, all right, let's get out of here. I'm sorry, I'm going. Let's go. Our mission today is a slightly unusual one, and I know he's for Cine Gear, but I'm going to drag Josh on a toy hunting trip. Air time, so we're going to try and hit some stores to see if we can get in before the toys get on the shelf. Yeah. But like I said, it's glorious. Look at the beautiful weather. Yeah. It's glorious. So when you guys need to pick up, uh, call this number ahead of time. Okay. So is the car coming? So we're rolling in a Tesla today. Oh, I got this already. Hey, I was going to sit in front. Of you. How are you doing today? Uber to pick us up here. Okay. Take us to Westwood and then do like a second trip um, and get him to wait. So like you, you, you might wait in the Uber while I just duck down, have a look, see if it's got its coming stop, and then we're gonna head to West Hollywood. Okay. So right now we're trying to get an Uber because the Tesla ride that we're in, I got psyched for. They only drive around a mile radius, so we gotta get another Uber, hop over to Target, and from Target, we're gonna hop over to. Where's the location exactly? It's um, um, Paramount? Paramount Backlog. Paramount Backlog, so yeah. that's, what, that's what we're gonna head to after this. Is it here or down here? Oh, okay. Yeah, I have it with me. Several tricks, right? Yeah, We're just gonna do a target run. Target, right? Yeah, so like literally, because I need to find some, some things in Target. Then from there, I'm going to add another trip to another Target. And then we're going to go to another Target, and then we're going to go to Paramount Backlot. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah? Why so many Targets? i got to go and look for some <laughs> toys, man. <laughs>
No luck? No luck. Ah. So we found what we needed for the most part. We're gonna actually come back to this target because we're not gonna carry around toys uh, while we're at Paramount. So we're gonna get our coffee right now from Starbucks and then head over to meet up with Andrew and Edwin. Yeah, so we're yeah, about yeah. to walk into well, Paramount to Studios. First time. Pretty excited. So then that's all you. Uh, I'm just silly. We're just gonna have to go to the Paramount Swag Store. This is our new jingle for the vlog. And get some cool swag. Uh -huh. You know, I'm just making this stuff up. <laughs> Cause I like to sing the jingles. My philosophy in life is work hard, but play hard, right? Yeah. And the truth of the matter is, life is short. It's so, true. You know, and, and look at how much more fortunate we are. We do what we love. Joshua does what he loves. I do what I love. Yeah. We do things, man. There's no better job than. than tell, doing. tell them a little bit what you do, anyway. Oh man, some say I'm a jack of all trades, but master of none. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like doing it all. I do all sorts of things. I like to shoot. Uh -huh. I like to market products. Uh -huh. There's stage 17. 18 is probably up that way. So 18 this way? This way? Yeah. Yeah. Um, gosh, I don't even know where to start. You know, I just don't like talking about myself. I just find it incredibly difficult. You do great work. I see oh, you work. Thank you, man. You're He's too a great kind. guy. He's too kind. No, you're too kind. You're too kind. And I'm just thankful to be here. So I just have a love for life, man. Yeah. And you definitely show it. You wear it on your sleeve. Thanks, buddy. Um, that's what we're going to now. So <laughs> who can't come out to events like Cine Gear or NAB, some things you might want to look out for, especially being here, it's, it's all about connections. I think I mentioned this in the last vlog, but like, there's a lot of gear here, there's a lot of new tools to come see, and a lot of new products, but if you don't utilize this time to network with people, to take the seminars that they have with here, yes, it's, it's very expensive to be here, and I'm blessed to be a young black filmmaker, be able to come out here and experience all of this, but I had to utilize this. Sorry, this is like rocking back and forth. But um, you had to utilize the time being here because you got to make the most of it. It's once a year, or, and, and it, it just happens once a year. And if you don't, you know, make one or two connections um, or make familiar faces, or just befriend somebody. Because this industry, everybody's going to tell you, they're telling me, is who you know. So if you don't become open to know somebody, if you're going to events like this, you're going to miss out on a lot of things. You're going to spend a lot of money. And have no opportunities so that's something to keep in mind if you ever do come to one of these uh, like I said this might be your guys' first time this is my first time here um, this year going to NAB and as and being here at Sydney uh, gear so it's cool because actually uh, several people from NAB are actually here and they recognize my face and we chatted up a little bit talked about what we're working on so things like that those those will, those will keep lasting impressions on people just being being open, being willing to speak, be willing to talk about what you're working on. Um, even sometimes mention like what, are you, what you're struggling with and, and you guys should be here, work it out. So that's just something I just want to give to you all. Um, if you're looking to come to events like this, definitely utilize the time and network. And just have fun. Yeah. What's up beautiful people? Today is day three. 
I'm with Edwin. Say hi, Edwin. Hi. <laughs> he is what you're basically an engineer at SLR Magic. You designed the lenses, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're actually in Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills, where we're staying. We're walking to the mall right now. Uh, Clinton and the other guys are going to meet with another client. So we're going to take some time. Wow, look at that's cool. <laughs> Sorry, I got sidetracked. So we're going to take some time to check out the mall. I'm going to do some questions and response that you guys have been sending me. And uh, yeah, so let's, let's get to it. I've been trying to find a spot in this mall so I can do this question and response, but I'm just going to just do it as I walk. So I get a lot of questions asking about SLR Magic, since you guys know I've switched to it, and then I'm a brand ambassador as well, but SLR Magic versus, let's say, the Vager lenses, right? Um, I don't have a Vager on me so you, can, so you can see a comparison like side by side, but two things you can do. You can actually just go to my 35 millimeter review about it, and man, just like music playing everywhere in this mall, it's kind of annoying. But if you go to that video, kind of watch the comparison, kind of watch the, the overview I did with that, that will give you a better sense of how um, that particular 35mm Vader works. So there are a few differences between the Vader and the 35 SLR Magic, this guy here, right? So this is actually a T0.95. Uh, so this is a really, really fast lens and it comes in I think about $800, so it's a lot cheaper than the 35, which comes from Vager. It comes from like almost 1200 bucks, I think. I could be wrong, I could double check. The link's in the description. But this is a really fast, really fast lens. Um, you can get some creative stuff when it's wide open. It's really soft, but you know, some people use that for like a dream effect or anything like that. But I like that focal length that's on the GH5. It becomes, it becomes roughly a 70 millimeter, which is a nice portrait lens as well. Nice compression. But I like to throw on my ND filters open up to like 1.1 or, or T 1.4 and it, it's, it's gorgeous. So I'm going to shoot all the B-roll that you're going to see right now with the T 1.4 with some NDs on it and uh, slow motion goodness. So now let's get to it. Hot rods. Oh man, we're oh. early. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we're mad early. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm hungry. But it's all good. And he said he'll it's all it. good. Do you wanna bring the shit there? I'll explain that. <laughs> These guys. Do you want to bring there? You guys wanna bring it there? We're here at Hot Rods. First time here is a rental house here in California, up in Burbank. And uh, so I'm okay. going to actually enjoy the rest of this evening yeah. with the crew. I'm just going to let some B-roll play, um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, really. So, yeah.